Mike's technology really helps me out a lot. It's almost as if I hadn't gotten eaten alive. <sighs> but still, I still feel the after effects. <sighs> but thankfully, at least maybe the time off is what I need. That's just all I need. Surprise! No one tried to alert me in my brain, but then again, I'm sure he's busy taking care of a few things, which is understanding. <sighs> but so far, I haven't noticed anything off around here, nor not from anyone else. I guess Mike really is trying to keep me, well, keep me in a calm state. Maybe. Hello? Hmm? Oh. Hey. Didn't expect to see you hey. here. I wanted to come check up on you. I heard what happened from the UN. Uh, you heard. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, like, be all miffed and all that. I'm more pissed with them than I am with you. Uh, mm. <sighs> Just, uh, I was over- it was my fault, too. I was a bit overconfident. Thought at least I could be able to finally push back against that asshole, but nope. Didn't even realize the guy was watching me. Hmm. Well, still... I still don't think G.U.N. should have sent you out there. Regardless if you were overconfident. Mm. Well... I know they only s they sent me out there because not only did I have experience with the guy firsthand, but also, one, I'm not missing, and two, I seem to be the only one that'd be able to know how to try to push back and fight back and survive what, well, I had to deal with the first time. But, like, what if their, the whole thing of you not being missing didn't work and you did go missing? Then things would be an issue. Sorry, again, it's not you I'm mad at, it's them. I work for the company, damn it, and I'm pissed at them. Easy, easy, fluffy boy. Yeah. <sighs> but, hey. At, le at least, think at least a good thing that I did notify Mike instead of them to at least be my backup plan in case... Things did go awry. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Cause I mean, well, look at my look at my right arm here. You may not see it. Yeah, it may be hard to see, or you could possibly see light scarring there. Oh, but... I can I can see the scarring. Yeah. It's thankfully it'll be gone within. A few days, maybe a week at most. Thank Jesus. Mike for his technology. Thank for my thank Mike yeah. for his technology, cause uh <laughs> at least thankfully with Mike and his technology, at least I didn't lose an arm here. Yeah, you wanna become like me. Eh. True, but I don't think I don't know if I could see myself with a metal arm, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe I'm Maybe an eye? Maybe. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm still getting used to the new arm. Uh, yeah, yeah, notice that you just got it upgraded there. It, looks, it actually looks a lot better. Yeah, remember Cookie said that she's gonna make me a new arm? Mmm. Cookie technology. <laughs> yeah, finally got the new one. Feels a lot better than the old one, if I'm gonna be honest. Did um, Mike try to strangle you when he realized that uh, you were using an arm that he made? I mean, 
I don't think he did. I can't recall. It was just one of those times where it was just like, gotta do this. It was, it was a last minute thing. What was I gonna do? I was yeah. gonna die if I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, it was understandable on that part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah, if that were the case, though, if I didn't talk with Mike, not only would I lose an arm, probably, well, lose other chunks of my flesh. I'm just gonna shut up about it. <laughs> yeah. <Ugh. sighs> Jesus. Yeah, like I said, thank God at least Mike hacked into a furnace when he did. Yeah. <sighs> but... Yeah, though, at least right now, I'm just hoping it'll be the final time I have to deal with that starved asshole. Because if I end up there again, yeah, I mean, most likely either I'm most likely I'm forced there against my own will. Honestly, this son of a bitch really needs to stop. He's beginning to piss me off. Yeah, as far as I'm aware of, he's most likely. Most likely he's trying to traverse the whole multiverse, because I have this feeling that in his world, the Mobian population's already declining due to his actions as well as his hunger, so... There's no... Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there's most likely no way for him to stop until he dies. Jeez. <laughs> And plus, on top of it, too, he tried to toy with my head as well, claiming, oh, all my friends and family are dead now, blah, 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 when I know he's full of it and must have gotten the, it must have either gotten them from his world or from a completely different world because I try to at least feel the presence, get the sense of the blood that I've been kept on smelling. They do not match with anybody that I've been around with. If anything, like I said, either they're just random Mobians or people, pretty much technically their counterparts from another world. But <sighs> I did, though, feel a few things, though, while I was there. Well, for one, thankfully, Savage Form kept my brain from falling apart. Thank God. Oh, boy. <laughs> and two... There was also a few moments, too, where obviously I knew that he was trying to get in my head, but... Something I have not felt for a long time that almost happened a couple of times over the past two years. Mm -hmm. It's like... Sudden... It's like suddenly my... You know those moments where pretty much you felt like you've gone through a whole lot, that your emotions just suddenly completely shut down and you act completely different? What do you think happened with the whole Xander situation? Mm. That was my way to cope with it. Yeah, the thing is though, it was more like... It was more like it did it on its own. Like my heart suddenly... Closed out. Closed off from the world. And like I said, I haven't felt that in quite a while, because the last time it happened, it was around, I want to say, four, 14 and a half years ago, when it first happened, and I hadn't opened it, I hadn't opened it up until... I first, I first arrived on Mob Mobius about three and a half years ago. I see. Yep. Because, honestly, yeah, it just closed up. Then when it reopened, a few people had helped out with that, and I was able to feel like my old self once more. And... You'd be surprised with the culture shock on how it is after your heart had been closed out for so long. Because... <laughs> when that happened, I had to relearn how to at least... be okay with just being happy again. 
with at least being able to make new friends and being able to learn what love is supposed to feel like. Yeah. In a way, I kind of do know how that feels. Because before I met you, my, I didn't have any real love in my heart or anything to keep me from ho having my heart open. I was alone. I had nothing to keep me... I barely had anything keep me going besides my will. That was it. Yeah. I, in a way, know how that feels. Mm hmm Though... But with you, though, Jeld, you were a child when that happened. No child should have to go through that. I was... I already hit adulthood when that happened with me. Yeah. And honestly, I felt my heart try to close out a few times though for the past couple years once during the whole corruption incident when mm. corruption tried to split me and boyfriend's bond up and the second time after well af after Zo after Zoe had ran off from me after Natsu interfered with what was going on Though I think I may have also developed a phobia with both the, with the Musion couple, because it seemed like whenever I'm not sure if you noticed when we found when we found the red emeralds, how Alex was afraid when he noticed that I was about ready to break down. He looked afraid. I did notice that. I didn't understand it, but. Probably because when he and A.G. saw me, I was completely quiet, unresponsive for a bit until they finally pushed me to finally talk. <sighs> Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, though, yeah, I though them pushing was had must have prevented me from closing out completely while the previous incident I know girlfriend kept on messaging me to make sure that I was actually okay so at least at least in a way with those two incidences it shows that people still cared but at the same time when what you, what you went through with Xander People still showed that you cared all the that they cared about you all the time. Even though, yeah, mm. it was rough on you. And because Emix decided to get his big nose into into the business that he has no involvement in. Yeah. But though those moments though that it happened, they were very brief. But at least it was at least good enough to try to keep Star from getting into my head. Thinking about the Xander incident, it just reminded me of something. Hmm. When one day I was going buy cookies just so I'd see how the process of everything was going. I met an EXE there, but it wasn't, it was a strange one, one that like, quote, broke the fourth wall, I have no idea what that means, um, he said that my EXE is still alive. What? That's impossible, you, you said that he was gone. That you killed him during that coronation. That's what I thought, too. But... Clearly, he did some shit to get around it. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Just thinking about it right now is making my blood boil. <laughs> easy. Easy. I know how you feel, because I'd probably feel the same way too if I found out my EXE was still alive. 
Yeah. After things are calm and everything's finally settled down, I am hunting him down. Uh, you you the... will pay for what he's done. Uh, he won't be the only one. Because, as far as I'm aware of, I know from what I was able to gather, I know that <sighs> there's a chance she could have allied herself with him. Because I know she had other EXE allies out there. Because after her demise, I saw Raziel.exe. Found out that she was supposed to get in contact with him when she was done while dealing with me. Instead, I popped in. I have to say, he has quite the immature attitude, and I could have sworn he watched South Park. Oh boy. Yeah, because he pulled, because <sighs> I remember the last words he said was, Screw you, I'm going home, fuck this shit, I'm out, and ran off. <laughs> now and that you mention him, I've heard rumors about a devil being born from a body of an EXC. Here we go. Oh boy. That one the first. Devil Raziel is the name I heard. Well, if I run, run into him again, wouldn't be the first time. Plus, at least he can't get he can't get anyone out from me, anyways. Oh yeah, and another EXC I ran into that attempted to attack me to get revenge upon what happened to Sailor EXE. It was Cookie's EXE. She calls herself Moldy, Moldy. for some odd reason. Uh, I'm too familiar with that little runt. Uh... <sighs> yeah. Your EXE and that mutt attacked me when I was trying to get answers. Oh, yeah. Trying to get some stuff during the <sighs> incident I will not mention. Yeah. But... Yeah, apparently she apparently me and boyfriend we were on our way to go meet up with some with a couple of friends. But we ran into her along with Discora and then a bunch of bullshit <sighs> happened. But hey, we were able to at least get away get away from them cuz <laughs> Yeah, she may refer to me as marshmallow, but I ain't on the menu. Yeah. Actually, I just remember there was another instance where I ran into that mutt. It was during the whole Lady XE bullshit. Uh. What I is? Had to deal, I had to deal with her and her and Lady XE again, and I had to save Kale's ass. Why do I feel like that mutt is going to be a lot more trouble than we anticipated from her? Well. I'm always willing to put the dog down. <laughs> yeah, for me I would as well, but I have to, well, I gotta wait for a while, but, so that way at least I'm 100% yeah. again. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well. So... I'm just hoping that at least... All I, all I can say is, is that I'm just hoping we don't have to deal with any more EXCs, at least until I'm done with these trials that Xavier kept mentioning about. Yeah, let's hope not. Because mm -hmm. I'm really sort of get tired of these fucking things. You and me both. They're... <sighs> Especially with how they are, since they're most likely newborns and they're not even supposed to do what they're doing to begin with. Yeah. If anything, they should have been, they should have been like how I used to be. Keeping balance, rather than going off and trying to conquer worlds. 
But I guess it's a fate likes to be a pain in the ass. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But enough about them. Don't you wear your floofy head about me. I'll be alright. Yeah, I just wanted to check on you about this one. Because like mm -hmm. the last one, so I wasn't able to come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know Chris is already fully aware of it. Of it. Thankfully, Mike had kept in contact with him after he managed to get me out of that situation. Yeah. Anyways, but you got any info or any signs of dragon popping around? Not that I can think of, no. Okay. I haven't always seen him. Yeah. Haven't gotten anything either. Been trying to keep my eyes and ears open. Just to be on the safe side. Same even, here. Even Sarah hasn't found anything yet, but... Um, uh, did I tell you about who I got to become the new Red Emerald Holder yet? Or did AG and Alex beat me um... to the punch? No, honestly, I've been kind of kept in the dark, those assholes. Hmm. Well, Sarah's now the one holding the Red Emerald. She's the one open the new red emerald? The, 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 the new red emerald holder? Mm-hmm. Honestly, not what I expected. <laughs> yeah. She and I have been uh, spending a little extra time after, well, Dragon had disappeared. But thankfully, at least she and I got a chance to at least know each other on a more deeper level. And she really thought my fox form was adorable because I know I seen her trying not to break into cuteness overload. I mean, it is. <laughs> but. <laughs> Though I did ask a few <laughs> others, I tried asking Cookie, but the weirdest thing happened. When I was going through the process with her, the emerald burned my hand. It burned your hand? Yeah. It was weird. It was like it just burned it just burned my hand. Thankfully there was no scarring on on it and then and I tried to look into it to see if maybe it's a sign of something, but nothing had popped up. I even tried talking to the call. She was utterly confused about that too. But then that then I tried strange. Then I tried asking Vicky, and that almost put me into a panic because the emerald lost its color with her, until thankfully Cookie was right there and slapped the crap out of me to get my to at least keep me calm, so that way I could hear Vicky <laughs> out, and turn turned out there was, well, something that Vicky was keeping from me that she only trusted a few others with. I'm not gonna say that much until I know she's ready to talk to others about it, but... However, she knew that obviously she best at least we wait until another time if someone else decides to drop out before I ask her again. Though, something inside me is telling me she might deserve a better, well, a better position rather than as a holder. I don't know why. A better position? Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's like the just... only position that I, as far as I'm aware of that you have besides the holders is what, your guardian knights? Yeah, and I'm only sticking with two because uh, if Draco decides to try and talk to me again, I don't know why he's all of a sudden gone quiet. I don't want him go. I pretty much. You should have heard him when he found out Rosaria was my second guardian knight. He was like, "You still stole my thing, blah blah blah." And I'm like, 
She's family yeah. too. Let her do what she wishes. Yeah, I haven't heard from Draco in quite a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Is happened. Everything okay? That's the thing, I don't know, because even I contacted Barry and she hadn't heard anything from him either, so I don't know if either hmm. something bad must have happened. But I swear to God, the old man's involved. I'm just going to go over and smack him beside the head, being like, dude, just let him go. Well, wait, uh, speaking of Draco, um, shit, shit, shit. I don't know if I should say this. What? what? Okay, well, right now, this is more of a need-to-know basis. But do not say anything to anyone until, well... And so one, we find Draco, and two, at least he can come to acceptance of this, because Mitsuhide had told me about this. Okay. There was actually mentions about me possibly having an older half-brother. Mm-hmm. And turned out, that older half-brother is Draco. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh? Yeah. I was in shock too and almost weirded out for a moment, but then. Then again, it would kind of explain a lot. Because. Even though that, yeah, I met him when I lost my comrades, I felt that there was some type of connection there. But then. When I tried to see if I could make him into a holder and he rejected, he did mention too that he felt that there's something, though, with us. Something that he couldn't pinpoint. But still referred to me as his guardian knight, as my guardian knight, and his sister. But then finding out that he's legitimately, well, Legit. that I'm legitimately his sister, it's just. Right now my brain's just like. The fuck? It's a real culture shock. Yeah. But that's why I'm kind of keeping it quiet because once we do find Draco, I don't want him being bombarded with questions about that. And if something bad did happen to him, best at least he recovers first before yeah. we decide whether or not we're going to accept it or if we're going to start questioning if technology back home may be fucked up. If, yeah, uh, if this is true, you better accept it. I mean, come on. I don't see a point to yeah. not. I mean, yeah, though, think about it this way, Joe, though. Because I know you've, in a situation, you have found out that you had a brother and a sister. Well. Yeah. How would you feel if you found out? That I was your sister. Like well, your blood sister. For, yeah, well... First I'd be... Incredibly shocked. Because, well... Not exactly just her jog. So, it'd be a little strange. Mm-hmm. But... After a while... I'd get... I'd get used to it, because... Got similar stuff that happened with similar pasts and stuff. So, I mean... It wouldn't really bother me. <laughs> Figure as much. Because, honestly, if I found out that you were my brother... Obviously, shock. Takes some time to get used to. Figure out how the hell we are blood-related. And from where... But then be used to it over time because, I mean, hell, we are technically we already have that bond as brother and sister. Yeah. So it wouldn't really bother me at all. So I don't know. I don't know what's Draco's side of it. Why he's uh, all. Yeah, most likely if if he didn't just disappear. 
then I could understand if it was just shock. And I wouldn't bother him on that, and Barry would have been keeping me in the loop. But him just suddenly disappearing, I mean, he has a child, for God's sakes. Most likely, yeah. he's just... That's why I'm worried that of him disappearing suddenly, especially after, well, Dragon's disappearance. Yeah, both of them disappeared around the same time. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying not to think so... the worst right now. I'm thinking that something is off. I'm just trying to... Here you go. Yeah, stop Make it. your mind on something else at the moment. Yeah, stop it, no. <laughs> Meh. Boop. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Thanks for stopping by here, child. Actually means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> when I get back to GU1, I'm giving them a stern talking to. Mm. Yeah. Well, if they're, if they're already scared of you by the time you get there, then you know someone else had also give them a stern talking to. Chris is part of GU1 as yeah. well. As well as the, most of Neo Team Dark. <laughs> yeah. They're not scared. If they're not scared by that, then I'll make them scared. <laughs> oh yeah. And but that, and also plus, if we got around to eclipse, then I would not be surprised if he th if he threatened to go back to his old ways just this once for what happened. <laughs> but I think he may also be glad yeah. that uh, yeah, I hadn't had any protein for a while. <laughs> what shit happens when you are practically being eaten alive? I know. I would know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. I still blame Lunar. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyways. But, yeah, if you want to go and give him a piece of your mind, I suggest you go do so right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'll keep in touch and what happened. <laughs> Alright then. And yeah. I'll and I'll see you later, little fluffy brother. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Later. Later. <laughs> well, at least I know he cares. <sighs> Though I could see why I am not a part of GUN. I don't think I could be able to deal with missions like that on a constant. My